unboxing myself here an N64 controller for the Switch from Nintendo. Not one of them knockoffs off of Amazon. And the reason I'm buying one from Nintendo is because I don't play it enough. I'm really just making content for a year with it. But I really don't like the USB dongle that hangs off of it. Like, it's not convenient at all, especially for my setup for streaming. And um, I just love the feel of the SNES controller that I bought for almost the same price. And I got two controllers. This, you only get one. Kind of sucks. Uh, I'm also going to be showing you how to hook it up, which is super simple. You just follow these instructions. Just got this this week. Also, it is... October, no, November 1st, 2024. If you want to see how it worked, go to my YouTube channel and check out that stream for that night. And we'll see how it worked. Um, it's showing you plug it in at first. It is wireless, has a battery included. Don't know if it has the rumble pack installed or not. We're going to have to check that out. If you guys want to read all that, go ahead and screenshot, pause, screenshot it, look at it made in China so we know that's gonna be some good quality there looks just like back in the day I actually had a purple one back in my day N64 controller online the packaging is kinda of weird that it has like a cover on there and then it's wrapped in plastic I um, guess that's alright extra safety um, also, I see like the most trustworthy one on Amazon right now is $39 and it comes with that big dongle and it has all kinds of buttons on it that just kill the look of the controller. And um, also it's knockoff. I don't know how good the brand's going to be and I can actually buy the parts for this. Um, my friend that does repairs on my YouTube, he can get all the parts for this so why would I want to buy a cheapo that I may have to throw away after a year. Hopefully that this one need oh that fell out. A little piece of that's really cheap. I can't even glue that in. Has good weight to it. It would be cool if it came with the adapter so you could like play with your old 64. Cause Oh, it was doing something. Oh it folds forward. It folds forward and out. Oh it came with a controller! Okay, so that means the other... Maybe my SNES controllers did not come with a controller. So you can use the cable that this came with, which is a USB-A, which is a flat, a USB-C, which is also nice because this is USB-C. My SNES controllers did not come with that. That looks like about 6 foot. Well, that's 6 foot, so... Oh, this is 10, so this is 6. Six foot. We're not going to be using that one, but it'll work. I went ahead and got me my USB-C controller, my 10-footer, just to do this video, just to show you guys. Okay, it has really good weight to it. Hard to tell with this plastic on there. Oh yeah, just like, actually it feels thicker than the good old days, because this always felt thin. Oh, the good old days. Good response. Actually, it feels just like back in the day, and I used to wear these out all the time. I feel like it's made a little bit cheaper. This plastic isn't so glossy and shiny. Or maybe back in my day, I, my parents never got me a brand new controller. Who knows? Everything feels great. These actually feel more responsive than back in the day. Feels like there's actually a button back there. Um... The old ones kind of felt like it was like a click, 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 click. This feels like a physical button. Do not have the cartridge. That's what I was wondering. Do you put the rumble cartridge in there or not? Maybe it's built in. Maybe that's why it has a, just a little bit more weight to it. It's kind of hard to tell because you always had a wire hanging off. So back here we have the R button. The Z button is also underneath. I hold it like this. Some people would hold it like this. And like this. I hold it like this. And my middle finger goes under there. Ooh, that feels responsive. Um, that is because I played a lot of Goldeneye. And I need to be able to hit that trigger quick. And I think you use these buttons still on Goldeneye. We will find out. Um, it is a special bit. 
Is it a special bit? It's a special bit, the same bit that you use to tear apart. Looks like the Game Boy Advance, if you need to tear this apart. I wonder if the battery's in there. It does feel actually balanced. I put my finger in there and it's not resting on my hand and it's pretty balanced. That's pretty nice. So it's not going to be like leaning forward or... That's pretty cool. So, let's go over the buttons on the top. We got the ZR button, which is for the switch. We got the home button. And we got the screen capture and record button. And we have a pairing button. Shows Nintendo, Nintendo 64, made in China controller, and then some number. Looks like there's like a kit or something. Maybe you could slide it down in it in the charger. I'm liking that. Looks like we have a status light and status of what controller you're using and the charger itself. Pretty cool. So to set this up, let's see if it has any juice in it right now. Oh, I'd hope it'd have a little bit of juice. Okay, so we're going to turn on our switch. This is the way I'm doing it. I'm using USB-C to USB-C. Got the game ready for tonight. We just did the SNES games the other day. And if I go to controller, I'm going to go ahead and plug this into the switch. and this into here and we'll see what it does it turned on a indicator and it just said paired see that that's how simple it is see that lights on and let's unplug it see if it like stays on or anything it said paired Plug it back in one more time. I normally don't have that problem. It paired right back up. Maybe I actually have to be in the game. The SNES controller from them? Great. We have new games to go over tonight. So the SNES controller, it will actually run the entire Switch, which is pretty nice. We'll have to see what this one does. Oh, it's a system update. Also, oh, that'll charge a little bit off of there. Okay. Yet again, it is November 1st, 2024. If you want to see how this thing worked, I will be streaming with it tonight. Not for very long, but my Nintendo streams, I really don't do that. That long. But... Why can't you connect to the network? Registered. It's registered. Sorry about this. Let's, um... Uh... Can't connect to the internet. Well, I don't mean this thing shouldn't work, so let's... Oh, it worked! See it? Paired as one. And I am running it. Let's launch something else. Oh my god, does everything... Okay, see if I can take a screenshot. I'm not able to take a screenshot, but it did come up. Home button. Back in the game. ZR button. I really don't know what ZR does. What's the ZR on this? Is that one of these? game saved. The game has saved twice since launching. What's going on? Okay, I guess since... Oh, now it connected to the internet. Makes no sense. Let's just see what functionality some of these buttons do, because Zika's could also be a directional pad. Something new to play. What are we going to be playing tonight? Banjo-Kazooie. 
It's like a four hour game. Okay, so this. There's the old golden eye that I used to play. Loved it. These are. Oh! These do do something, but they are not a directional pad, which is totally fine. Okay, if you want to see how it works, I still don't know what that button does. I'm going to charge it up for a little bit and start my stream November 1st, 2024. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.